channel. So today I have. How y'all doing? Mama Sharon Mama here. Sharon in the house. <laughs> I've told my mother. I've told my friend. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry about that. I don't know what I'm doing. So, I asked you guys on Instagram. Um, I told you that me and Mama will be doing a Q&A very soon, which is today. I asked you yesterday. And y'all have been booming. Mm. Booming with the questions. There's like 70 comments on here. Me <laughs> okay. We're not going to have the opportunity to answer all of them because that would be a ridiculously long video. Um, this one's still probably gonna be over 20 minutes long, but we don't want to bore you. We don't want to bore you, even though I know right now we're gonna get comments and say that y'all are not boring at all. So I'm mm. gonna sort of scan through them, and we've been looking at them mm. here and there, <laughs> and uh, we sort of been like answering questions in our head, so we sort of get an idea, and we've seen some questions that we thought would be really good questions to answer. So, okay. that's what we're going to do. Alrighty now. First question is, how old are you? It wasn't directed towards whoever, but I'm 26. And I'm 23. No, I'm 53. <laughs> I'll be 54 in September. 16th. I didn't even say who that was from. That was from Georgette underscore T. Kale. Hi, Georgette. <laughs> so then, Jackie M. 1025 asks, what is the most embarrassing thing you did as a child for both? So, for both of us. Oh, Lord. Well, when I was young and I was in high school. Well, no, I wasn't in high school. I'm sorry. When I was in, like, junior high. <laughs> I'm like, you stoking on this thing. And when I was in junior high, we had to switch classes. And so, this particular day, I had wore a dress. <coughs> and I had a chocolate milk in my hand and my book sack on my back. And out the door, I come and all the students are standing around and are changing classes. And as I walk out... I hit the steps and I slid down the steps and scarred up the back of my legs and chocolate milk went everywhere. So needless to say, yeah. scarred her for life. Yes, <laughs> she remembered. Not a fan. I'm a I'm in falling for years. <laughs> she's. I told her last night she's an expert. Yes. she's an expert. I got it falling. down pat. <laughs> and she doesn't fall like she falls upstairs, going downstairs, stairs. Mm. Is her flowing to the ground? <laughs> she does it slowly. <laughs> Like I'm she bread. gracefully does that. <laughs> I say one of my most embarrassing moments as a child. I know there's one. <laughs> really? There's at least one. You remember that time I pulled my pants down and showed the boy my rump? No. <laughs> and grandma's down the dark road and you, and you saw me when I done it? No. No. <laughs> Did I weep you? <laughs> you well, what were you doing that? He done something and I was like mooning him. It oh worked. My like, Lord. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't know how you don't remember that. I it told you. The ditch it. bank. He was on the dirt road. We were in Grimes. I, I, I can get up to do something. I don't remember what I'm doing. But you remember about. the chocolate milk. That's because it was tragic to me. I, <laughs> I, don't I don't remember any like embarrassing stuff. That's embarrassing enough. It weren't really embarrassing. I done it to myself. But I called I that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say that one. Homemaker on the home front says, for Mama, what did you see me doing when I was younger? Oh. Meaning her father always thought she would be a lawyer or a nurse. Mm. God, you always like to talk. Dog, I don't really know. I never... She had no hopes for her. No, I had hopes. You just, you did, you dabbled in so many different things. It's just... No, I always thought you've probably been a singer. I really did. I thought you'd always be a singer because you always liked to sing and you could sing. Maybe a gospel Good. singer. Preferably. <laughs> Preferably. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> Mama, what's the best thing Paige ever did for you? Oh, gosh. There's so many. So many. She just got my gas. <laughs> <laughs> yes, when the Lord allowed you to be my daughter. Is that the... I done that for you? No, you didn't do it for I guess God done it for me, but you've done so many different things. From buying me stuff for my birthday, when you bought me the how you pronounce it, the Keurig. Yeah, yeah. That pronounced that right. The Keurig, the coffee maker. Yes. You're always giving me stuff, so there's so many different things. Yeah, I remember that when you said I'm giving nobody nothing. You will, I never said that. I'm talking about that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> she gives me all kinds of love, and she's always... 
Snapchat and she's always telling me stuff when she's having a problem, so. That's the best thing I did for you. That's one of the best things because I really want you to be like my best friend and be able to tell me stuff. That means a lot because there's a lot of people that their children won't tell them stuff. I don't tell you nothing. Shut up. Lies. Okay. <laughs> Hannah L. Crane says, what's something that made you so proud of Paige that you haven't told her about before? Come on. I've, I've told you everything, though. Come on. You're withholding information. I'm going to punch you. Um, <laughs> I've always told you what I'm proud of. Tell me. <laughs> I don't have one particular time because I, every time that I'm proud of you, I always tell you. She's lying. No, I'm not. I mean, I'm proud of you with your YouTube channel. I was proud of you when, shut up, when you were Team Miss. I'm proud of you, how you handled things in your life. I've always told you I was proud of it, have I not? Bless the Lord. Yes. For Mama. There's one for me and you on here. Okay. How did you feel when Paige and Cody finally got together? Oh, I know they were going to get together. I remember the first time he came to our house. He came to the house and y'all were making the gingerbread man. We were not dating. Weren't dating, but she told me, she said, Mama, there's this guy that... Was that was it? after that. Was it? Yeah, he had already came. And then I was trying to... I told her I had a date. Mm -hmm. And I would not tell her who the date was with. I just kept saying, you know him. And she kept guessing through all these people, trying to figure out who it was. I don't even think you guessed who it was. No, I didn't. But I knew he liked you after you told me. I mean, after you said his name. <laughs> don't shut up. No, I mean, of course you would know he liked me if I told you. <laughs> I didn't did. mean it like that. I mean that I knew that y'all would end up being together. Because, I'm going to bust you in the nose. Because, <laughs> glory. I could sense something from it because you remember I told you that. All mama could say was, God, that boy's got pretty lips. I knew that he liked her though. I believe he really likes you, Paige. I don't know, mama. I just don't know. I don't know what I need to do. Hello. <laughs> you better grab him. <laughs> and then for Paige, what is the one thing you wish you could do over again? What in change, you reckon? Who told us this question? This is from Sweet Pea. No, 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 no. Ruse, uh, Ruse Amanda2785. I haven't been saying all the people who said the question. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> I, get, I get caught up. It's hard to say you change anything because when you change stuff, then you can change you current you stuff more. that you, you have and that you've gained over the past through all the bad and the good stuff. So I don't want to say that I changed anything, even though there's some stuff, of course, in your past that you would like oh, to. Oh, I know I would. You'd like to erase, but it makes you who you are. So I can't makes necessarily say that I'd want to change anything. So I, you always learn from it. Yeah. Um, Sweet Pea 04 15 for the both of you. What is your favorite Christmas holiday memory and activity you do together? Oh gosh, that would have to be watching movies. And yeah. drinking hot chocolate. I like um, when we decorate the tree. Oh, yeah. Every year, which we're not doing that this year. That'll be the first time. How come? Because I need to decorate early. Um. Normally, typically what we do every year, and it's kind of sort of come become like a recent tradition within the past three, three years, I guess, yeah, since mm -hmm. I've been married, past three years. What we do is after Thanksgiving dinner, we clean the kitchen up and we will go ahead and start pulling all my Christmas stuff out mm. and take all the fall stuff away and we start decorating and she helps me decorate my Christmas tree. She don't let me touch her Christmas tree. No. <laughs> she does it all, all three of them, four of them, seven of them. Three of them. <laughs> but I, I just seven. have a way I like to do mine. <laughs> so I let her help me. But um, we won't do that this year because I need to get it up early because if you guys need to see it earlier than what I've been putting it out. So maybe she'll come down that weekend or something. And yes. Me. We'll still do it probably together, but it'll be a lot sooner. But we always watch movies too. Yeah, and that is another. I guess that'll be your answer then. Movies. Yes, my will be watching movies and making hot chocolate. Homemade. Hot chocolate with whipped topping. Homemade whipped topping. It's so good. So good. Lily loves pancakes. I, I do too, Lily. <laughs> Poor Mama. When was the most awkward moment? This is what I thought was funny. When was the most awkward moment you walked in on Paige as a teenager? I hope that makes sense. There, re there wasn't one. <laughs> I don't ever remember one. So. For one. Really sure? I got it's plugged up back there. Sorry. <laughs> My door was never hardly closed. I no. never done nothing I had no business doing. So it weren't like she'd be like, What's so good? What you doing in there? No. I didn't do nothing. 
Why choose a blade? So sorry, Lily. <laughs> If you were expecting something dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Avery, I never know how to pronounce. Hoppy. 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 Hopes. Okay. I don't know. 29. Mind. But I do talk to you quite often. I just don't know how to pronounce the last thing. Okay, for Mama and Paige, how have you two inspired each other? You answered that one first, Paige. You have inspired me to be not mean. <laughs> My mean, I'm not saying I'm mean, but <laughs> I'm rowdy, ain't you, girl? I can be a little firecracker. We'll call it a firecracker. But she's coming down from what she was. That part I get from my father. Yes. I get all the good from mama. And oh, my bad definitely. From from daddy. <laughs> she has inspired me to not be ugly and to think before I open my mouth. Praise the Lord. <laughs> which is hard. Even though most times I don't, but it still is portrayed all on my face. Oh, her that face is another. Tells her. That's another story, and it's yeah, all in I itself. I can't even. I can't control that. Oh so, gosh. how have I inspired you? Well, since you started your YouTube channel, whoop, whoop, I'm gonna tell you what. You've really inspired me to want to organize things, get myself more organized, to clean more, put things in place. And I look forward to seeing your videos on that. Because it's as soon as I watch one, I say, now what can I do? She does. And she'll call me. She'll say, okay, Daniel, let me tell you. I'm going to show you this stuff that I'm got. What do you think about if I put this here? And honey, I've been cleaning all day. I'm cleaning everything out of this room. I'm cleaning everything from under the bed. Yeah, so she I'm got has, rid of this. It has really helped me a lot. Messy bun, mommy. Mm -hmm. Gotta love that messy bun. How many siblings do you have if you do? How many do I have? I have one. My little oh brother gosh. James. I had six. There was I was number seven, but there's only you were number seven. I made well, there were seven of us all together. So I've got six in, brothers. In order, you wouldn't have been number seven. I was like in the middle. Four. But there's only four two of us. Two boys left. and five, five girls. girls. Well, I've got a half two half I had two half sisters and a half brother. Have. Shot <laughs> ten. There were ten of us all together then. Gracious. And I have one. <laughs> <laughs> and then she also says, what was Paige like growing up? She has such a personality, I imagine. No, honey. Fun. She had one. Can I hit you? <laughs> <laughs> she had one back then. I'm going to give you a little um, example. When she was in school, in grade school, they'd move her to a seat. And she'd sit down and she'd start talking. So second, they'd move her to another seat. Second grade to be exact. And when they'd move her to that seat, she'd turn around and introduce herself <laughs> to the person that they had moved her to. So it didn't, that was the only thing that they would say was she's, she's smart, but boy, she's talkative. And I would always say. Well, and another thing too. It runs in the family. I was a little ahead of my class when I was younger. And I'd get done with my work and I'd have nothing to do. Lady, what are you doing? I'd have nothing to she do, do but talk. I mean, there was nothing mm -hmm. left. Especially first grade. That's when I really got in trouble. Because Miss Jeannie would always say, just like. She's over there supposed to be napping and she's talking to him under her arm. <laughs> I'm over there with my head down and I've been talking. <laughs> she's always been a talker. And y'all think that I have just recently started videoing myself? She's done it forever. My entire life. When I was three or four, mama would pull out. We had a video camera. Mm -hmm. Shoot, we had it when I was born. They've been videoing my entire life. So I've always been on a camera. It's not something that's new to me every christmas especially was when like the main time with, with rollers in her hair <laughs> yeah we'd pull she'd pull out the camera and i'd stand in front of the christmas tree i really wish i could find some footage and somehow import it for y'all to see probably won't be able to but one day i want to get that transferred over so i can keep it because it's all on like vhs tapes and stuff but yeah i've always been in front of the camera mm -hmm. always had a very loud and she's always been very imaginative big personality <laughs> with a big imagination <laughs> Still today. <laughs> Kayla Maniel asks, what is a favorite memory the two of you share together? So many, Mama. I can't remember. I remember how we used to go when we started going to the pageant together. You remember that? And how you'd get in the middle of the aisle and be dancing when there was up there the people that were supposed to be performing. And they would tell her to put me in the pageant. And she said, <laughs> for her to get up there and, and do not nothing. do nothing, I ain't putting her up there. And then what did I do? Beg her and beg her and plead her until I was 10 years old. Mm -hmm. 
and she finally put me up there and then I got up there and she cried like a baby and what did I do did awesome I did everything I didn't win nothing oh, I did win something mm -hmm. but um I didn't win the crown that night that was like my first real my first pageant that I'd ever really done um underscore Captain J asks so y'all ever get into arguments or disagreements <laughs> and fights yes no what do you mean never <laughs> Yes. But hey, just because we might have disagreements, we just we still. I really just hang it. up the phone and I'll talk to her in a couple of days. Yeah, get <laughs> just yeah. leave me alone for a little bit. Yeah, you have to let her get over. Sometimes her I have to hang up the phone. Mama keep talking, and I'm just sitting there. Like, but now, what did she just step up, Cody? <laughs> get off the phone. I don't want to talk no more. I am like when I'm just frustrated, I will shut down real quick. Yes, you. And will. I'm like. Exit stage left, and you have to let, let me, it over let me it just don't let me up. just simmer down because it makes me. It's going to take a couple of days, Cody. It takes literally a couple minutes to hours, and he's doing and it. he's back, and, and then I'm still mad. He's like, "What are you doing?" And I'm sitting sitting here like, "You better be glad the problem hasn't been, been addressed." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that's a woman thing, though. I don't think I hold that grudge till you die. <laughs> Arena Elise underscore Will. I know I'm butchering the mess out of these names, y'all. She didn't even ask a question. She just no, said, I love you too, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa and Family Seven says, Mama, what's most trouble, if any, like sneaking out to see Cody, etc., did Paige get into? I oh. won't. I've been getting into trouble. No, not really. I have always been very mature at. With a good head on the shoulders. At many ages. Um, if I left, Mama knew that I weren't going to get in trouble. Not saying that I never did nothing bad, but I told her about it. So it mm -hmm. weren't like, no. Mama, my mother, or my mama, instilled good qualities in us. So, we knew exactly what we should and should not do. And a lot of prayer. And she, better. yeah, she she knew that, what, didn't you say that if you were to do something, you would see our faces? Honey, if I ever thought to say anything or do anything bad, I would immediately think of my grandma <laughs> or mama, and I'd be like, mm -mm. <laughs> mm, they gonna get me. I can't do it. So I feel like if you just, if you have kids and you're trying and you're worried about them, I just feel like if you start from birth and you just instill it in them mm -hmm. and you stay consistency, you don't go off the path. You stay that way. I think you'll be fine. I think and, I'll, I'll and think pray. Um, give it to God. He fixes everything. He helps you. And then she asks me, "What advice and tips do you have to plan a fall low budget wedding?" For one, that you show ain't me. <laughs> um, do as much as you can yourself. Um, if you don't like flowers, or if you do, I love flowers, but we didn't have flowers at our wedding simply because. I think it's a waste of money mm -hmm. because you buy flowers. Not saying you can go buy you you can go buy synthetic and you can keep them, but what are you going to do with all those flowers? And you got to store at them. the end. And then if you buy real flowers, they die. And you just spent money on stuff that is dead that you cannot get back. So that to me, I don't think it's worth it. I know to some people that flowers are very important at their wedding. If that's you, then go ahead. But that's a big place that you can save money. But my biggest thing would be to do stuff yourself. I decorated myself. Mm -hmm. If you want a bunch of nice decorations, don't go out and buy them. Rent them so you can take them back once right. you're done. That's a good way to say. And you don't have to worry about doing stuff with it when it's over with. So I think those are that's all my tips for that. Alma Delish says, "Are you planning to move closer to your mom?" She would love that. Definitely. It's based on Cody's job, pretty much is what we're what we're waiting on to see what's going to happen. He's been down here for five almost six years i think working at this plant and um we're just sort of looking around to see if there's any opportunities closer home for him we're just praying that if that's where god wants us to be you know he's going to send us there regardless of what we want um so he's going to send us there if that's where we're supposed to be at so we're just praying about it and keeping our eyes and ears open why not sm page plus five says, did Paige like to test your patience, and was she always independent? Oh, gosh. Yes, she's always been independent. <laughs> always. But she really didn't test my patience. She was just, she was very independent. I never bothered her, because I done it myself. Yeah. 
That's a plus there. <laughs> so I would do stuff right by myself. I'd pick out my clothes even though she didn't like them and she'd go back behind me and change them. <laughs> but I pretty much did everything myself. So Amanda Hopkins 23 for Paige. I've considered creating a YouTube for myself, but being from a small town in North Carolina, I want to know how it felt knowing all the people you grew up with were seeing your face on the internet every day. I never felt like when I put it out there, like, oh gosh, they're going to see it. I've never felt like that. Like, I've been putting out videos before, like I mentioned, when I was young, I did little, like, home videos and stuff. But, of course, nobody's seen those other than the people that we showed. But, when I got older and I got my laptop and I had a, that, the camera on it, I was filming myself all the time, posting it on Facebook. And I have a ton of local Facebook family friends and stuff, so people were seeing it. And I was... I was in a, that when I was in the Southern Gospel Quartet and I would go, I would travel all over with that quartet and when I would get to a new place, I would make a video and people would um, comment on like previous videos and they wanted a shout out in that video. So I would thank everybody for praying for, you know, safe travel and I'd give everybody a shout out. So I've been doing this for so long, it don't even feel like, it's never felt weird. It's felt, if anything, it feels weird when I'm not making a video so mm -hmm. it's never felt weird Bree Weezy 09 for mama how old were you when you had Paige so she was born in 91 and I'm 53 she was 27 was that 27 <laughs> okay I was 27 <laughs> Cassie my little Cece what is your favorite part about doing YouTube that would have to be making new friends and meeting new people obviously we both love doing that so that's why that's the big part about YouTube that I love. I would like to ask, what was her favorite thing in raising you and your brother? What was your favorite thing in raising me and James? It's getting to spend all that time with you because we always done a lot of stuff together. We'd always do, remember how we'd get in the yard and we'd have picnics? We were very entertaining children. Oh, honey, singing all the time. And then we put on shows. Yes. Honey, they had a a news channel where my son was the weatherman and I was no, the No, he was the weatherman. And yeah. then there was Casper in the house and he was <laughs> they were interviewing Casper the ghost. It's just it's it's never been a dull moment. And both of them's always I wanted about Casper. We sat right there and kept asking Casper them questions and you know he's a ghost so you can't see him. You know, and he weren't saying nothing either. <laughs> yes he was. Well, weren't James the one that was answering I don't the questions know, but when you, he said when James said little pieces of no it was you that was me. The ring, and then James was talking about his going on a twelve. <laughs> How they go? What was that? He said you were going to Florida. Florida. Lord have mercy. She's the one that said, "How different was it to raise a boy and a girl on different?" She says, "On a different set of routines. Considering girls are considered easy to handle, whereas boys are somewhat feisty." Oh no, honey. Or at least that's what I'm noticing since I'm a new mom of a four-year-old boy and a two-year-old girl. In our house, I am the feisty one. Yes. James was, he weren't calm. Neither one of us were, we could be calm. It weren't like we were high strung and we yeah. was running around like we a chicken with its head cut off. But we were very well mannered children. We knew not right. to play the devil. <laughs> yeah. Be, break something. She was looking for some insight on how to, how to raise children that are two completely different, have two completely different personalities. Well, consistency is a big key. Yeah. And a lot of people tend to try to treat all young as the same. Yeah, and, and we all are different ourselves. And you can't run here and there and everywhere to try to please them and do everything for them. I speak, mean, speak, I hear, I hear that in there. I mean, shut <laughs> up. And then sometimes they just have more of a personality than the other. But consistency is the key. And you have to understand, like she said, not everybody is the same. We don't all learn the same. We, we don't, don't act the same. We don't um, accept love the same. We don't accept punishment the same way. Where you can talk to one child, if you try to talk to the other child, it hurts their feelings so mm -hmm. much. Where that is their punishment. They feel like they have just lost your love and trust that hurts them whereas the other child you got about slam beat them for them to even know that they've Not been the punished. Out of them, you know. so i mean every child's different and you are their mother so you 
obviously know the differences in your child. So if you just sit back and really think about it, like, okay, my son needs to be treated this way, whereas my child, my daughter needs to be treated this way. And that's fine. If somebody's got a problem with it, I mean, shoot. You're their mother. The devil with it. You'll know what to do, what's best for them. For Mama, if you had a YouTube channel, what would you film and what would it be called? Oh, gosh. It will be a cooking YouTube channel because I love to cook more than just about anything. And it will be called... Cooking with Mama Sharon. Yep, that will be it. Hello, sweet and savory dishes of the day. Jesus. In what ways are you alike and in what ways oh, are you gosh. different? <laughs> I can't sing like her, that's how we <laughs> But we have a lot of, we're a lot alike. If you're familiar with the Myers-Briggs test, <laughs> the 16 personalities, we are both ENFPs, but if we sat down and looked at it, the breakdown is probably completely different. Because mm -hmm. we do have a lot in common, but, but we do have a lot not in common. I can't think of what the income not in common is. I'm a little thug gangster. And so I is not. She is not. <laughs> I can be a little ratchet at times. And I is not. <laughs> I love my mama and I'm preparing for a move with my fiance and I need advice. Oh, bless your heart. Just talk to each other. We talk multiple times a day. Sometimes I think I call her too Sometimes much. I ignore her phone calls. <laughs> she does and I can feel it. <laughs> No, sometimes I <laughs> look at it just... and I'm doing something and I'm like, I'm going to call her back. And then... And she never does. <laughs> y'all y'all know that my... I can't like... But just stay in touch. Always talk. ADD. Yep. Just always talk. Make That's... the effort to yep. reach out. Or text. If you can't talk, at least text. And now Mama's got an iPhone, so I've been FaceTiming her. FaceTime. Even though she be FaceTiming me, here she is. Uh, I <laughs> got her phone. I, I ain't used to it. She don't be looking at I'm like, Mom, are you supposed to look at me? She, no, yeah, girl. What? Who was it that said? Yeah, she was showing you. I was showing you my um, new letter on the door. <laughs> this is what she did. She was like, yeah. I didn't turn the thing. Here it is. I said, Mom, we just flipped the screen and I can see it on the <laughs> other side. Bless them. Marriage advice. Anything but don't go to bed mad or angry. Heard it so many times. I need something new. I ain't got marriage advice. No, because I'm going to be a man, so I can't tell you that. <laughs> oh, marriage advice. So I would tell you that. Um, always talk to each other. Yeah, have open communication. communication. That's a biggie. That's huge. And if, if you, you keep holding, if you keep withholding information. You will be mad. You're going to just, it's going to fester and just boil slam over and, and, and then it worse. makes everything worse. Me and Cody will talk even when he don't want to talk. And even if you I do more you upset in the end, you all make up. Yeah, and once you start talking at first, it's it can be a little difficult to start talking. But once the floor has been open and you're both just going back and forth talking, you will notice that it becomes so much easier and the, conver the conversation becomes so much lighter. The tension is gone. Like, it's just so much easier. And then, you don't have to... You won't have all these arguments, or it won't be so bad, if right. you learn over time to address something so it doesn't fester over and become a problem. If you go ahead and say, okay, you know what? When you do so-and-so, I don't like that. And it makes me upset. Rather than waiting until they do it, and, then, and you're already mad, and then you say it, and then you're like, you know what? <laughs> You know what? You're about to get on my nerves. Why did I ever marry you? So just go ahead and talk about just it up front. You have no if you have to sit down and write on a piece of paper, both of you, just think of all the things that you want to talk about. Have a conversation night. If you need to have a meeting once a week where you sit down and you just have a conversation, then you do that until you get to the point where you are more comfortable having open communication mm -hmm. and it just becomes natural. Because you have two different personalities and people will say you don't know somebody till you live with them. Well, you can live with them and you still don't know them. Okay, guys, so I pretty much went through all of the questions. A lot of them were duplicate, so we didn't want to re-answer questions that we've already answered. But if you have a question that you're dying to ask us, comment down below and ask the question, and I will see it, and I will tell Mama. She and does, we'll try our best She does answer. look at comments every once in a while. I just don't say anything, but I want to thank all of y'all for just being so nice to Paige and, and just... Every time I see that you leave a comment about me, it just makes me feel so good. A good comment. Yes, a good comment. 
Damn just man. just know if you ever leave anything ugly <laughs> about my mama. I don't foresee you doing that, but God it's knows. On <laughs> I just think I love you because you just so you're wonderful. Ninety five percent of y'all are the bomb dot com. Yes, you really are. Great comments. And I love y'all. Y'all are so supportive and loving. Y'all always ever bad. Subscriber family ever. So I hope y'all enjoyed this one. Like I said, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and you want to see more. And subscribe. Of Mama. Yes, yeah, subscribe if you haven't. Thanks. We got a lot of stuff happening in the future with Mama. We want to do a lot of Christmas shopping. <laughs> We've done some fall shopping. If you've missed those, go watch them because they went up before this one will. So go watch those and look out for some cooking with Mama. In the near future. In the near future. Hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day. And Bye, y'all. watching. Bye.